Over the last couple of days, some pretty bad things have been coming out about what is quite possibly the biggest hardware channel on YouTube. Linus Tech Tips, and let's just say a number of brand new things have been brought to light that will seriously shock you, including new accusations from a past employee. But first, with new CPUs and GPUs coming out, make sure you're ready with Meld Alerts, the completely free sign-up that sends you an email when new PC hardware is releasing. Because let's be honest, keeping up with all the new PC hardware releases can be tricky. And don't worry, I'll only tell you important stuff like CPUs, GPUs, etc. Plus, I'll send you great deals as those come out as well. That way you won't have to worry when new PC hardware is releasing. So yeah, it's completely free at meldalerts.com and it only takes you a couple seconds. So make sure to check that out below. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Starting things off, to go over the backstory a bit, it all really started with this video from Linus Tech Tips. In it, he reviewed a monoblock by Billet Labs that was unique in that it was made to watercool both the CPU and GPU with one block. So a neat concept and something that hasn't really been done before. The issue is that in the video, Linus reviewed it with an RTX 4090 instead of the 3090 Ti that it was made for. The company said that they could try it, but couldn't guarantee that it would work. And I have to say that it is wild LMG did this because GPU water blocks are specific to a certain GPU for a reason. There are cutouts for specific components of an exact GPU. So using a different one really doesn't make a lot of sense. Yet Linus based the review off of that and really they bash the part throughout the review i mean what was the point of this though some of it may have been warranted but all of it together just really isn't a good look to make matters worse, LTT promised to return the monoblock because it was actually a prototype, and when they didn't like it, Billet Labs asked for it back, yet Linus Tech Tips sold it. Now, Gamers Nexus is the one who originally brought all of this to light, and in their original video, they also went over a ton of issues with accuracy over the course of multiple videos from Linus Tech Tips. Problems ranging from errors and representing specs to massive benchmarking issues that completely affect the conclusion of the video, not to mention the fact that an employee during an LTT lab tour bashed Hardware Unbox and Gamers Nexus saying this. The difference between us and somebody like Gamers Nexus or Hardware Unbox is we test new components, new tests every time. Every project that we do has new data. Yet they literally proved that Linus Tech Tips does reuse benchmarks. Then Linus said some absurd comments during the WAN show in response. It's pretty clear that not everyone in the creator space handled that super professionally. Um, I, I, I don't obviously agree with some of the takes that were out there. I, I don't think that it's particularly um, journalistic, for example, to ignore facts. Um, to ignore personal relationships. Really, it's been a complete crap show all around. But the main issue people had is how LTT treated the Billet Labs monoblock. And on that, quite a few things have happened. For one, Linus Tech Tips made a response on their forum that expresses disappointment with the way Gamers Nexus handled their story. And I will say that you usually do get a statement from the person you're discussing, but I don't know. I mean, I don't have Linus Tech Tips numbers, so I couldn't get a statement. I just had to wait and see. But he then goes on to state, that he would have learned that LMG didn't sell the block. They auctioned it for charity, which is a pretty weird statement. Auctioning something and selling something are the same thing. Though I guess his point is that it's for charity and that it was allegedly an accident. Next, he states that he already agreed to compensate Billet Labs for the prototype. The issue is that Billet Labs later made it clear in a Reddit post that they didn't receive anything on compensation until two hours after the Gamers Nexus video. That Linus Media Group didn't apologize or anything like that until after that video. And this brings me to some of the very new stuff going on. For starters, after Linus claimed that they wouldn't do a long video about the whole situation, they did a long video about everything. During it, they made some apologies and claimed to be working on procedures to better accuracy moving forward, which Linus Tech Tips did mention in that forum post as well. But during this part of the video, they actually claimed that there was an email written asking for an invoice to reimburse Billet Labs for their monoblock. 
but that it didn't get sent. To which, I don't know, that sounds pretty fishy to me, but I really just can't know for sure. Then LMG ended up finding out who won the monoblock to try and get it back to Billet Labs, but they didn't want it for some very understandable reasons. What's wild is that emails were sent out to all of their auction winners requesting to know what they bought, claiming that it was for tax purposes. And in that new video, he says this. Side note, that same team, God bless them, didn't ask our event team who won the silent auction items and proceeded to email everyone asking, we don't need any of that. Certainly not for tax purposes. I clearly need to spend some of my week training the team unless I actually get fired for real this time. So he's basically saying that they just flat lied about it being for tax purposes or it was for tax purposes and he's lying now. Either way, someone's lying here. But things have gotten even worse for Linus Tech Tips because brand new allegations from a previous employee have just been posted on Twitter. And as you can see, a lot of these accusations are very serious. I'm talking things from sexual harassment to name calling, it really is a lot. And she claims to have posted this review years ago on Glassdoor, so this may not have come from nowhere like it seems. With that said, as many have discussed, it's certainly odd that she would choose to post this now, though it could be because she was afraid of being dogpiled by fans before. But now that people see some issues with Linus Tech Tips, she thought it would be a good time. Ultimately though, at this point, I don't really have a clue. There are definitely some pretty big accusations. Some of these I can't even show here because it'll likely get flagged by YouTube. Basically, this story is a work in progress, and I'll keep you updated as more information comes out. But but so far, it's definitely not looking good for Linus Tech Tips. So while that does it for today, what do you think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you're someone who's worked with Linus Tech Tips in the past, and you have some information one way or the other on all of this, email me at admin at And as always, have a great day!